On the full moon of April, the Manchester Buddhist Centre opened its new shrine room. The Lord Mayor of Manchester attended as guest of honour. Buddhists of several nationalities joined the evening celebration, including Indian, Thai, Vietnamese, Chinese and two Tibetan Rinpoches. The shrine room itself was designed by Moksha Priya. The walls now tell the life story of the Buddha in over 20 pictures. A shrine room should remind us not only intellectually but emotionally too of our ideals. It should put us in a certain mood. It should put us in a mood of uh, reverence, of devotion, of faith and inspiration. So how does it do that? How do we uh, contact our feelings? How do we contact those feelings of reverence and devotion and, and inspiration? Well, we do it through beauty. So we've made the shrine room as beautiful as we possibly can, given our financial restraints. At Chilabodi from Bristol, designed and carved the new shrine. I arranged it so that it almost has two halves in structure. The bottom half is very uh, sort of flat, and it has more of a cage-like quality. And I saw that very much as being um, a sort of expression of samsara. And then out of that, out of this sort of more like cage-like presence, arrives um, the unfolding of the lotus, the unfolding of the, of the uh, the Lotus Throne. Arloka put an awful lot of work into uh, thinking about the, uh, how the, the Buddha Rupa should fit on the shrine. He felt that uh, with, with a shrine like this, it was a lotus flower coming up like this, it couldn't be a heavy looking Rupa. Usually when he makes Buddha Rupas, uh, as he puts it, the centre of gravity is quite low down, right in the stomach. Um, but here, he felt it had to be a sort of an upward uh, there should be an upward movement. And uh, he did this by, by making the, the, the Rupa slightly more elongated than he would do normally. But also the drapery, you see he spent a lot of time with the drapery sort of making sort of what we call uh, um, vertical rhythms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> artistic talk. Uh, <laughs> coming outwards like this so that you, you don't get this, this lovely shrine moving upwards and then the Rupa sort of stuck on it, as he said, like a lump of lead on a daisy. <laughs> The dedication ceremony was followed by a special puja during which many people made precious offerings to be placed inside the new rupa. Shakyamuni Swami